Here's my chips and C plus my cutting table that I built it myself. You can view one of these using your 3018 CNC or any other milling machine. But the main topic of this video will be the plasma cutter. This is my plasma cutter cut 50 with pilot arc that I bought for a very cheap price from eBay, $250. I think that many other people also got the same. It says that CNC compatible, but after many months of using this plasma cutting table and modification and stuff, I learned that you can make any plasma cutter CNC compatible. Even if it doesn't have the pilot arc, I already show how to do that in one of my previous video about removing the high frequency noise. You only need one long wire to connect between the nozzle of the torch and the ground clamp and that's it. The machine is CNC compatible. Today in this video I will summarize everything you need to know, everything you need to check to make this plasma cutter uh, work well with your CNC cutting table so that you won't have any problem with the high frequency noise uh, or sputtering. So let's get started. This plasma cutter originally it come with this torch but to make the view of the CNC plasma cutting table easier I replaced this torch with this PAD straight torch that I bought from eBay also for a very cheap price only $30. It comes with all the wire and cable and everything that you need to start cutting. But the one thing that I didn't like about this torch is just the consumable just burn out very fast. The nozzle here got melted and deformed very quickly only after a few cuts. Here are the two examples of the nozzle that got burnt. It got melted on one side so the arc come out kind of tilt so it doesn't cut really straight. So the cut are not really good quality. So what I did is that I changed this torch again. I replaced it with an A141 torch that can stand the current up to 140 amps. You're probably going to say that I overcute. Uh, but in my defense, I will say that the torch is built for higher current. So when I cut at lower current, the nozzle is not going to be melt that much. So the consumable will last longer like the nozzle and the electrode. I have been using the same nozzle for more than 10 cuts now, so let me just show you quickly how the nozzle looks like. If you scratch up all the slack that got stuck on here, you will see that the nozzle looks almost as new. This PAD torch nozzle is completely melt on one side with about the same number of cuts. So I think that I actually didn't over -cue it at all. So the first tip for today is that you can use bigger torch that will be for higher current. I can assure you that it will work with your plasma cutter and it will save you a lot of money on consumables. The second tip I already showed in my previous video that you should connect the trigger wire directly from this connector to the relay and that relay will be controlled by the output of your controller board. That way this trigger wire will be far away from the pilot arc wire that have a high frequency signal and also another wire that is inside this tube. If you squeeze this tube a bit hard, it will feel that wire. The wire inside here is to conduct the current for the arc. So when the arc is igniting, it might also induce some interference. So the best way is to keep this wire far away from these two wires. But after doing that trick with the trigger wire, the problem might still happen that you might still have the interference. And that will reboot your controller board and make the machine stop cutting. And you also will lose all the reference about the position of the torch and everything. So most likely you will have to throw away the stock. I found out that problem when I changed the torch from PAD to this bigger torch. I showed you in my previous video that this machine worked really well last time that it didn't have any type of interference. But the problem came back the moment I replaced the torch and it came back with interest that sometimes the arc just sputtering. It was cutting point but in the middle the arc start to sputter. It doesn't cut continuously. And I actually have a few viewers just ask me about that problem and I didn't know what happened so I couldn't really help them. But now because it happened to me and I know how to fix it, I will show you what to do. If your arc is sputtering, it's not continuous, you will have to open the plasma cutter. Once the machine is opened like this, look for this board and look for something that looks like this. As you can see here on this board, 
there's these two rods that you can adjust with the two screw here. The gap in between the two rods called the spark gap, and that gap would have to be about 0.8 millimeter. When I had the problem, I opened it, and the gap was about 1.5 or 2 millimeter. So let me make that gap bigger and show you how the sputtering look like. As you can see that the gap is really big now. So let's see if the ox sputter. It didn't sputter, so I just going to increase the gap even more. I tried to make the gap really large and also very small, but I couldn't replicate the problem. But I swear that reduce the gap is the only thing I did to remove the sputtering and also make the rebooting problem of the controller board went away. So I don't know what happened this time that I couldn't replicate the problem. It might happen only when I do really long cut with a lot of turning on and off of the torch and also switching the R between the nozzle and the sheet metal. But if you have that problem, just make sure that you check the spark gap one last thing about the plasma cutter, they all say that it will work with both 110 volt and 220 volt. But obviously 220 volt will work better. The plasma cutter will have better duty cycle at higher cutting amperage. And again with the sputtering of the arc, when I first bought this plasma cutter, I used 110 volt and the arc was sputtering all the time. So I changed the power supply to 220 volt. The arc stopped sputtering, everything was cutting continuously. Uh, if you do everything I show in this video, your plasma cutter should work very well with your CNC plasma cutting table. Uh, I have been using it very intensively to cut all the pieces to build my dust collector. I will show you a few examples.